Well, as you saw earlier, Colts camp is underway in Anderson. One day down, several weeks to go. And among the new faces, outside linebacker Lawrence Sidbury, the former Atlanta Falcon, wearing number 52, picked up by the Colts in the offseason. And Lawrence joins us tonight on Sunday Sports Extra. Thanks so much for coming in tonight. No problem, man. Awesome. Um, how happy are you to be an Indianapolis Colt? Happier than you know. Uh, <laughs> happier than you know. I'm glad to be here. Uh, the transition has been as and smooth, pretty much seamless. The guys are great, coaching staff is great, the people in the building are great, and I couldn't be happier. Yeah, you seem happy. You seem relaxed, you seem happy. You, well, know? you know I'm not lying there, right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what happened in Atlanta? Fourth round pick in 09. Did you feel like you got the opportunities that you deserved in Atlanta? Or, I mean, explain to the fans. Uh, you know. Kind of, kind of went down. Honestly, I don't think so. I mean, you know, the fact remains, uh, you know, in the NFL, when you get opportunities, you got to take advantage of them. The opportunities that I got, I took, you know, you took advantage I took of advantage of them. So, it, but it didn't translate into a bigger role there. But, you know, that's in the past. Uh, I'm not wearing red and black anymore. I'm wearing blue and white. Right. Horseshoe on my helmet. So I'm looking for bigger and better things here in Indianapolis. Anything bitter about your experience with the Falcons at nah, all? Or that's not bitter. On? It's a business. You got to move on. Yeah. Um, you can't, you know, if you can't talk about it and you know, be over it, then, you know, <laughs> you know, we'll move on from it. It sounds like a fresh opportunity with the Colts is exactly what the doctor ordered for you. Oh, pretty much. Uh, like I said, you know, during the free agent process, free agency process, you know, everyone here, you know, Coach P, uh, Ryan Grigson, and they let Coach me. Coach Pagano, you talking about? Yeah, yeah, Coach Pagano. Yeah, they let me know that they wanted me to be here and just you know, do what they know I can do. So that's why I'm here. I mean, almost a cliche, but do you have something to prove? At all, if not to yourself, maybe to the NFL in general? I mean, I think he has something to prove, you know, every year you go out uh, to come on and be as productive as you can. And I'm not really going into it putting a lot of pressure on myself. I'm going to be relaxed. I'm just going to play like I know I can. Right. I think it's always interesting to get perspective from guys that are coming in from different teams. What was your perspective of the Colts, as you sat in Atlanta and watched this team play? Maybe the playoffs, the regular season, whatever, and you saw it grow last year, Coach Pagano, his illness, his comeback. What did you think as you watched that team? Uh, you know, as a fan, the Colts, you know, even before you know, Coach Pagano was here, seemed to always have been a class organization. That last year, going the, back to Peyton Manning in those right, days or whatever. The yeah. biggest thing I noticed as a fan, you know, watching, you know, maybe Sports Center, or NFL Network, or seeing clips of the games or the few games that I get, did get a chance to see. You can tell that these guys were playing together, and now that I'm here in the locker room, and you know it's like a you know coach preaches family, and yeah. that's that's a culture of the building, and you can see why these guys play for each other, and you know the way Coach Pagano is, why the guys play for him, you know even though his situation last year when right. uh, I think Coach Arian stepped in, and these guys and they banded together and somewhat galvanized them, you know to the playoffs. No doubt, I mean it's a family atmosphere, and we keep here next man up, and guys. Or injured and whatnot, and it kind of kind of becomes old hat here in Indianapolis. But I mean, did, did Atlanta have that same feel, or do other teams? Obviously, they don't have that same feel. I mean, you know, I really don't want to keep going back to that. Well, okay, but I mean, take Atlanta know, out of the mix. But I mean, I mean you know, I mean, you know, well, you've been around. You, you right. talk to other guys around different teams. It's not the same way. Ever. Well, it's uh, you know, each organization has a different feel, and uh, I will say that you know, being here is a little bit different. Now, granted, it might be because it's a fresh start, but right. you know, the guys. Uh, in the locker room, you know, from day one, you know, I, I didn't feel new. I never felt new, you know, coming here. Right. You know, since day one, I felt like, you know, I was. It clicked pretty yeah, it quickly. Clicked, yeah. Uh, obviously, Dwight Freeney's gone. I don't know if you, you may have in, I'm anticipated. Still fan, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all are. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you're going to be playing with Robert Mathis. You got Bjorn Werner, the uh, the rookie. What what about this defense, especially up front, that you like? Uh, I like us. Yeah. <laughs> I like us. Uh, Right now, I think we got a lot of guys uh, that people may not know, but are very good football players. And I think it's going to show you know, once we get started. What do you hope to prove during the camp and by the time that first game rolls around against the Rams? Man, I just want to get better every day. Yeah. Uh, continue you know, the transition from a three, well, sorry, four three defensive end to playing linebacker. You know, it wasn't as big. Uh, you know, some people make it out to be, you know, I was pretty comfortable doing it. And I just want to come out, make plays, and help my team win any way, shape, way, form. I mean, let's face it, I mean, going from a 4 3 to the 3 4, which the Colts went to last year, it's not that big of a transition for you, a defensive end, outside linebacker. You're a down lineman, essentially, still, right? Right, we did. Um, there's, there's, a, there's, there's a few differences. You know, right. first and second down, you're playing sure. up. And, um, you know, you're pretty much setting the edge. But on third down, you know, your hand's in the dirt, and then and you're going to get after the quarterback. Just hearing you, man. I'm ready for the season already. Right. We've got some pictures 
from a very special event in D.C. last Sunday. You've been a busy man. I mean, you traveled yeah. up from Atlanta on Wednesday. Last Sunday, Big Brothers Big Sisters event. We had some photos of that. And it looks like it was really well attended. What spiked your interest in Big Brothers Big Sisters? This is actually uh, my second year uh, partnering with them. I started my last season in yeah. Atlanta with the affiliate there. And uh, as soon as I got here, uh, I made a relationship with the chapter here in uh, central Indiana. And, uh, and this year, I'm happy about working with the Philly back in my hometown in Washington, D.C. But, uh, you know, they do great things. Yeah. And I think, you know, I tell people, you know, this organization really puts their money where their mouth is because they take whatever donations they get and it goes directly into placing somebody important to the life of a, a young one to help them out. I know the CEO of the national office is recommending to the, the Indianapolis office that you get involved here as well. You hear that if, if the phone rings and it's Lauren Sidbury, pick it up. Oh, yeah. So well, you I like mean, to get in the, in the Indianapolis chapter. As right. Well. Like I said, we've already reached out to them. That was one of the first things I did um, oh, when I got here. Uh, like I said, re being out in the community is something that's important right. to the Coast organization. And you know, for me to do that, I was already involved with them, so to reach out to them was, was simple. Got to give back. And uh, that's all. But, you know, talk about family for the Colts. That's what this team is all about and this franchise is right. all about. Uh, good luck to you this season. I mean, that, that Bill's preseason game is going to be here before we know it. Certainly the Raiders game is going right. to be here before we know it. Uh, might even see you starting by the time it's all said and done. <laughs> Look at that smile. Lauren Sidbury yeah. of your Indianapolis Colts. Thanks right. for coming in. Thanks tonight. for having me, man. Back with more. In fact, we'll wrap things up here on Sunday Sports Action.